to live a healthier lifestyle not so much salt not so much sugar so we can't eat all of these delicious snacks yeah, all in one go it's hard to lose 100 pounds if you're eating the goal is 100 pounds my I just my just goal for right now is just to lose five pounds this month that's my only goal real goal right now but um yeah but we got something exciting today right what's what's our country australia we're going to eat australian snacks in the snack crate box i'm like super excited because the guy, the guy I have a crush on, well, my on Instagram, Christian Yu, he's from Australia. <laughs> so maybe we'll have something in common. Oh, he's from Australia. I like Australian snacks. Well, okay, we got some stickers. What, what's what's on the what's on the stickers? Uh, the flag, that big the theater that's in Sydney. Yeah. An Aboriginal person. Um, alligator. Kangaroo. Oh, you mean a croc? I'm sorry, crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't they, I don't know if they have alligators, right? No, it's, it's crocodiles. It's croc. Yeah, so that's cool. Do you want to look at some fun facts? Okay, yeah, I guess I'll read some of the fun facts about Australia. There are three times more sheep than people living in Australia. Only licensed electricians are legally allowed to change a light bulb in Australia. Wow. <laughs> so you have to call an electrician every time you have to change your light bulb? Is that? I guess that's true. That's retarded. 17 of the world's most poisonous snakes can be found in Australia. Oh. People from Queensland are nicknamed banana benders. Koalas sleep about 20 hours per day. And while mining in one of the Australia's biggest industries, more land is covered by pubs than mines. Mm. Okay. They like to drink. 
Okay, so yeah, well, I kind of while mining is one of the Australia's biggest industries, Moreland is covered by pubs and mines. Okay, I kind of read that point because I was like, what? <laughs> All right, so here's what's inside the Australia thing, and then um, we got what do we got on here. We got Crocs and all kinds of stuff on the front. So that's kind of cool. And on the back it says, Australia. <laughs> Not Australia University, but Australia, like Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I come from a land down under. <laughs> what do we got? Okay, so I'll keep this open to see. This where we got the regular box, right? Yes. The original. Okay. So what's the first thing you want to try? We oh, have some authentic French, French fries. fries. Didn't we have something like that before? Yes. Yeah, what, what country was that? I can't remember what it was. Our last well, it was, country. It was um, ketchup chips, wasn't was it? That, that was Germany? Something like that. Okay. All right, let's get that over a little bit. Let's see, this one says, oh, I, these look like the, what you call it? The French, the, the whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little, you guys we know, have we have this in America. It has the guy with the cap on. Andy, uh, ca um, Andy, Captain, or yeah, something well. Andy. Yeah. Andy's fries. Yeah. Australia's original crunchy potato straw snacks. Crispy, salty, and perfectly. They taste like French fries. Yeah, like the old ones in the bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Just a little, little taste. Now the the best thing was those ketchup fries. Mm -hmm. Tisha, can you eat? <laughs> Just take it one snack. Look. Mm -hmm. But this isn't anything new. Mm -hmm. We've had this before. Okay, not bad. Obviously, it's delicious. All right, next thing we got in here is twisty cheese. I'll eat the honors and I'll read it. This is Australia's most popular snack. This crispy cheese flavored corn and rice snack, it's corn and rice, has been like favorite Cheetos. for over 60 years. Looks like Cheetos. Okay. 60 years? This has got, how, how old are Cheetos and Doritos? I don't know, I have to look them up, I'm not sure. Yeah, it tastes like a, a Cheeto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it, a is it bit, spicy? Mm, a little bit cheesier. Yeah. It has a different taste. Tastes like, <laughs> tastes like spice to me. Doesn't it taste like spice? Like a really, really sharp cheese? Sharp cheese. I told you to get a water. <laughs> I told her to get water before we started, but she's like, I'll be fine. Look at her just coughing away. <laughs> Probably went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> she was so excited. Hey, right, these are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has like a really sharp cheddar taste. All right, next. Oh, we got candy. Yes. <laughs> so it's no artificial these. flavors, right? You no artificial, artificial colors. colors. Okay. So these are Allen's pineapples. These are sweet pineapple shaped gummy candy. One bite and you'll have, you'll be taken to the tropics by their pineapple goodness. All right, these are cute. They smell good. Oh yeah, they smell really good, guys. Mm -hmm. It's a pineapple. Oh, these are good. Mm. Okay, I might need a couple more of those. Mm -hmm. Give me all of them. They're good. Mm -hmm. The sugar tastes excellent. I don't have a sugar, a lot of sugar boy. No. Not this kind of sugar. No. I don't mm. eat any candy. I hit my empty stomach. One more. Mmm. You gotta get that nice uh, smack and sound. All right. Open, oh, we got all these little candies here. Mm-hmm. We got these little candies here. Was this taffy or something? Mm-hmm. All right, these are fan tails. Smooth and velvety caramels. Okay. Coated with milk chocolate, individually wrapped so you can stop yourself from eating the whole bag at once. Okay. <laughs> so chocolate and caramel. Winning combination. That's what it looks like, y'all. Yeah. It's a, it's a hard caramel. No, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a little hard too. Mm -hmm. These will take your fillings out. Take yeah. your out. Take your fillings out. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't think I don't even need the whole thing. I'll eat that later. <laughs> okay. I came to swallow. Let's go back to some snack snacks. <laughs> These are 
are not shapes pizza delicious pizza flavored biscuits oven baked to a salty savory pizza e crunch get that open oh my gosh they smell like pizza oh yeah and they have a lot of seasoning on them mm-hmm yeah, they smell like uh, like the pizza com combos. Mm -hmm. It's like that. It doesn't have a cheese filling. It's just like a combo. Mm -hmm. Kind of hard. Yeah, that uh, hard. The only best thing about combos is you have that cheese filling. I don't like them, so. I haven't had a combo in a long time, but I remember eating them. We used to eat them back in the day, and I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> All I right. don't like pretzels. We have a lot of good stuff here. Do you want to do a um, topic real quick? Yeah, let's do a topic. Let's take a break. Okay. <clears throat> I have my wool. Of course, our sad topic, and I'm sure if you guys are K-pop lovers, you know what happened. That we did lose. You don't have to be a K-pop lover. Remember, it was Just, on CNN, I mean, it was too. on CNN. It was on CNN. It's over here, so um, that we lost a member of Shiny. Yeah. Jung Hyun. Yes. He committed suicide. Mm, yes, he did. Um, it was very sad. But, um, you know, it was a lot of mix of different, the netizens and stuff going around. Some things that were said that shouldn't have been said. Some people have been saying some really crazy stuff and almost kind of glorifying his suicide in a way, which we don't want to do because then that kind of sparked someone else trying to kill themselves. Yeah. Um, there is, and I felt like his suicide probably could have been prevented if he would have had a better mental health care. Yeah, um, better help. Yeah, uh, yeah, better physician to helping yes. him. Right, um, because from the letter that he sent out, it seems like his psychiatrist psychiatrist was not good. Because yeah. if you for you to tell someone it's a personality disorder or it's your personality to be that way, that's not true. I mean, there's you can you can fight it. I mean, some people have gotten over depression. Some people have better their life i mean some people have taken their life but there are a lot more people who have gotten help and gotten over it gotten past it right. and lived a, a even better life so um it was really sad and it's sad that even in america we still have people who are dealing with mental health issues and are really not getting the proper help that they need because in some communities it's not even talked about it's not even addressed so but maybe with this happening and this getting so much publicity that they in Korea will keep a, have a better hold on their idols yeah. and giving them more time to work on themselves because he's a type of person that seemed like he didn't have love for himself before he got out here and now had to deal with what the public thought about him and um, it's funny because a YouTuber uh, actually I follow her on YouTube and on Instagram just talked about this today. She was saying that she was really in kind of, has been in the last couple of months in a dark place, but she realized she didn't have love for herself. And then she got married young, so she's already married. And then she was like, but I really didn't have self-love and I'm finally figuring it out that she said, before I got married, I should have had more love for myself and I wouldn't have had so many problems. And I've been pulling up things from my past the way I lived before. But she's like, I can't dwell on the past because I can't change that. That's why it's the past and it needs to stay there. But now she's like, I feel like I'm in such a better place. She said, I'm glad I had my husband to be like, giving me that chance to be on my own and say sometimes, babe, I need to have a day by myself just to get my thoughts together and get my life, get myself right. And it's good to see her smiling and to see it's not something fake. Cause you know, you could tell people who put on, they put on a facade. Sometimes you can tell. You can, sometimes you can't, you can tell, sometimes you can. But when you really truly see that their real inner self is showing, it's like a light has gone off and they look and seem better. Like she's even looking better. So I'm glad to see that, but it's really sad. And it was sad that he really could, didn't have someone that he could really go to and say, this is what I'm going through. Or maybe he just didn't want to do that because he didn't want to put it out there because he was afraid maybe of what the netizens would say or what fans would say if he said, you know, I'm depressed and I'm not happy and I really want to quit or I want to do something else. Um, but I did see on um, just recently on the internet that 
uh, Shiny was thinking whether they were going to continue because they were supposed to have a concert in Japan in February, but they decided what they talked to um, Jung Jung Hyun. I want to make sure I say his name right. Who? Say his name for me again. The one that died? Yes. Jung Hyun. Yeah. yeah, I said it right. Jung Hyun's mom. And she said that he would want them to continue the concert and to do the concert. So they are going to do the concert in Japan. They're going to still hold it. Um, and they had sent out uh, handwritten letters to the other members of Shiny. Um, but it was a lot. I mean, a lot of people were affected by it because he had so he knew so many people. There were so many other K-pop artists that yeah, he was friends with. Yeah, and he's on a huge label. Yeah, but he's I mean, on a huge label. Another thing with, you know, suicide in Korea or... Um, it's just like it's a, it's a lar- it's the highest in the world. They have the highest suicides. Um, I think like besides them is what like maybe Japan yeah. and some other countries. It but seems to be a lot of Asian countries. Yeah. If you have a mental health issue, um, they actually put that on your resume. Your employers can see that. So a lot of people don't want to go get help because if they get help, your employer will be like, well, why would I hire you over this other person? You have yeah. a mental health issue. You're taking medicine. Right. So if you have a bad day, it's like. They, what are you gonna they do? want they want people that are not gonna have as many bad days. So that's what you know. Of course, they can't do that here in America. Um, they, they so they basically they disclose your medical records to your potential boss. But that's but what's you can't horrible. do that in America. You can't do that in America <laughs> at all. I mean, and also your pictures on your resume in, exactly. in Korea. So mm-hmm. they have a lot of things they are gonna have to change and make better for people. Make it easier for people to come forward and say I have a problem because I mean a K another K pop idol came out and said there's a lot of idols and actors and stuff that feel that way but they just hide it mm-hmm. and people and they said they feel the pressure because people are like you're making all this money mm-hmm. or you know they feel like money should equal happiness but yeah. it doesn't you can be a millionaire and still be unhappy we see that a lot issues. here yeah you yeah. can still have issues and that you've never addressed because you thought I'm making money. But you still have underlying issues. And there have been people who And some who people aren't been, making that much money as no, people think. Right. <laughs> Their company's taking and, it off. Yeah. And then some people who really over in our country who are multimillionaires have killed themselves. Yeah. Or have been wealthy and taken their life. Yeah. I mean, we've seen it. Just like the one guy from... Um, oh, what's the thing? Robin Williams. I mean, Robin so. Williams. Um, there's quite a few. There's that, been quite a few. Or they just, they're on drugs. They have to yes. numb their pain with drugs. Yes. And then they overdose. So. Right. But. So, yeah, it is sad. But on another note, we got to get out of the sad stuff. <laughs> the next thing we have is a Wagon Wheels original. It's a chocolate-coated marshmallow and jam. So I will split this in half. Jam. Oh, jam. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> so, so it's actually thin. It's not like the huge marshmallows we have in America. Let me see what it says about it. Sweet marshmallow filling sandwiched between two soft biscuits and dipped in rich chocolate. Is it chocolate rich? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It's good. Mm-hmm. I actually like the jam on there. Um, I don't know what kind it is. It's a strawberry? Mm-hmm. <laughs> on there it says, there's no substitute for quality. I can't tell what kind of jam it is. I almost can't taste really the jam. Mmm. I can taste it. Oh, I'm tasting this chocolate right now. Oh, it says jam. <laughs> I'm like, but this have apple pulp, plum pulp. So it's got, I don't know. It's red, but it says jam. Mm-hmm. Jam. Oh, so I can just, this is good. Mm-hmm. I eat this again. Yeah. I gotta remember this. I wonder if they have like huge ones. Mmm. Mm. This is the marshmallow. It's just so thin what we're um, used to. Mm-hmm. It's so much thinner. All right, we have a whole bunch of more candy stuff. Thankfully we didn't yet. This is a Milo. It's a Nestle. It's a snack bar with milk. So this look, it has a kid doing soccer. So maybe this is some kind of, I don't, I don't think it's healthy. <laughs> it mm. looks like probably like a Rice Krispie treat. Yeah, we've had something like this before. Yeah. All right, let me see what it says. The Milo snack, it's crunchy cereal pieces are infused with chocolate powder, formed into a bar, then dipped in milk. It's like a, <laughs> what you call it? Great, it's like a cereal bar on the yeah. go. Great for, <laughs> oh, it actually says, Great for overall athletes. on the go. <laughs> on the go. <laughs> it's kind of nasty. 
No, I, it's not. I was like, it's not like as chocolatey as ours. It's not as chocolatey as like our Cocoa Pebbles. That's kind Cocoa of like, Krispies or Cocoa Pebbles. It's Pebble. not nasty. It's not bad. It's just like not as good as like, because ours has more chocolate and sugar. And sugar. So, and that's what we're used to. I mean, I would, I eat this. It actually tastes like it's healthy for you. Mm -hmm. All right. Pick something else out. What's that one? Tim Tim. Tim Tams. Oh, Tim Tams. I heard that. Tim Tam fingers. Tim Tam. Tim Tam original chocolate cookie. Almost like our, our what you call it? Biscuits Twix. are filled with smooth chocolate cream and drenched in even more decadent chocolate. Oh, when we use the word decadent, it's kind of like, mmm. Oh, yeah, these are good. I see why people like these so much. Mm. Chocolate's good. You get like a, a bite of chocolate, it's good. Mm -hmm. What other kind of Tim Tams are there? There's all kinds, right? I guess, I don't know. This one's original. So, there ain't gotta be some other kind. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a mint or something like that. Send us Tim Tams. I mean, oh wait, never mind. <laughs> you're trying, you're trying We're to... not eating those. No, that'll be our, Tim Tams will be our um, cheat, cheat, uh, cheat snack. All right, we got a Milky Way. What makes it special? Chocolate whip. No artificial colors or flavors. Mm. So what does it say? Unlike in the US counterpart, Australia's Milky Way is filled only with light and sweet nougat center, because ours has caramel in it. All right, so this one's only nougat. So do we have anything that only has, I thought we had something that has only nougat. It's called, uh, what you call it? Um, uh, three Musketeers. Yeah. So it's like a Three Musketeers. I just, it just tastes like that. <laughs> well, I'm like in the US. I'm like, <laughs> sir, ma'am, whoever wrote that. All right, now we've got a Chomp, which is a monster chew. Oh gosh, it's caramel. I mean, they oh, even have a, it's a crispy um, <laughs> uh, dinosaur on it. A crispy wafer layered with caramel and then coated in rich cho milk chocolate. It's a monster chew. That's what it says. <coughs> <laughs> it's a monster chew. It has like, yeah. Okay. So this is like the other one, but mm -hmm. it's, it's got like some kind of, let me kind of open it up a bit. You can kind of see like there's like little wafers in there. It is good. The wafers gives it an airy taste. Yeah. This one's not like the other one. The cameras get stuck in teeth. Mm -hmm. This is like a like, it's like a Milky eat. Way with wafers. Mm -hmm. The last thing, it's another <laughs> Violet Crumble. Oh, this is the, is this the honeycomb things, right? The, mm. the, the past we know, we know this from... is like this Australian thing, the honeycomb candy. Mm -hmm. Um, I've had this before, I've had, the one at Old East, so I haven't had the Australian version. So I'm super excited because I know our pastors are from Australia and they said this is a really good candy. All right. It like, you can just, it basically melts in your mouth. It's like air. It's like air. You can just put your tongue on it and it starts melting. Mm -mm. The unique taste. Mm. Mm. I think the other one I had might have been a little bit better. <laughs> it's not something I would eat again. This one kind of has like a, a slightly coffee. burnt taste. Yeah. yeah. Like coffee taste. Like bitter. But it's so good because I like the crunch. Mm. But I just gotta get used to it. <coughs> you wish you had that water, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't have tea though. Mm -mm. Oh, green tea. Mm -mm. All right, a crumbly honeycomb toffee center everything? coated in two layers of creamy chocolate. That's everything. Okay. All right, what did you like? Um, definitely these pineapple things. The pineapple things are the bomb. These are good. I need two more. The wagon wheel. Yeah. Um, I liked. Basically, I liked all the chocolate stuff. Everything was um, except for this. The Milo. So yeah. I, this whole box was good. 
Yeah. Yeah, you gotta go back in here, don't we? And then this is kind of a quiet taste. After you eat it some more, you like them. You know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> all right. What's our next topic while I put all this in here? Okay. We'll, we'll close all this up later. Next topic is about Big Bang. Big they Bang. Held, they held their last concert. Aww. And poor little um, GD cried. Oh, GD cried. Yeah, he did get emotional. He's probably tired. <laughs> he, <laughs> that too. He probably cried because he was like, it's the last one, but it was like, oh, I'm exhausted. And a little <laughs> tear came out of his eye. You know he's like, what, like 95 pounds? Um, and then, you know, everybody spoke. And they were saying, you know, goodbye, but not for long. Young was like, you know, we gotta go in. Yeah, so they're, do they plan to come, they're are they saying they're gonna come back together when they all get done? I guess so. I mean, are you, it would be awesome if they all went in together. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, Sungri and Day Song, I don't know. Mm, they didn't say anything, so by no, GD has to go. GD has to go. Taeyong is right, has to go. Taeyong is right behind him. Because they're they're, they're around the, the same cutoff. Mm -hmm. Got some girls around here. And of course, I might as well go into Taeyong got married. Yeah. Um, when did he get married now? It should have been just, or is he got married? He I, thought, I, thought it was, I thought it was in February. He's getting ready to get married. Man, I don't know so the date, soon. but he's supposed yeah. to get married. I in thought February. it was. Right maybe, before he maybe, goes maybe in. Maybe it already happened. You never know. He could have got married and not said anything. It's like, he was, but he told all his fans, like, I found one in my life. We've been dating. How long were they dating? Over a year. I, know, I thought it was longer than that. He's like, she stuck years. by my side for, I thought he said three years. Oh, has it been three years? Yes. Already? I yeah, maybe yes, yes, yes. Time. I think she's like, stuck by my side for three years. I thought that's what he said. Yeah, because she was on the original, um, what you call it, show. So yeah, it has been right three years. Yeah, and so then they were, then they did break up for like a little period of time, but he got her back. So yeah, they've been definitely dating for three years. So I'm yeah. happy for them. Yeah. You know, like you need somebody by your side while you're in the military, sending you letters and snacks and visiting mm -hmm. you and stuff like that. To keep you, keep you like. Because how many months is it? It's like almost two years. It's like what? It's like 20, 20 months or yeah, something like that. 21 months. And or it's mandatory. Like you got to go in. You gotta do no it. No matter who, who who you are, if you're a man, you gotta go in. You gotta go. You gotta serve your country. So we understand that, which makes it tough for people that are just getting into K-pop, K-dramas, that your favorite person yeah. might not have been to the military. So you just, like, I just got into somebody and then they were like, they're going off to the military for 21 months, so you're not gonna see them in any, doing any singing acting or anything so you're just like mm -hmm. i gotta wait two years i gotta watch their old stuff over again that's why people were so happy when um Lee Sung Gi got out they were oh like, yeah yeah he's his ah! new drama his new drama's out his new drama and then he's on a not only is he on a new drama he shot that uh variety show the day after he got out i'm sure he, he was excited I'm yeah sure he was excited because he was, to be he, was like, like, he wanted to do it it's called um all butlers it's funny i've been watching it. all butlers yeah it's him it's another actor who I've seen before, and I can't remember his name right now. And then it's the one from B B two B, and then it is a comedian. Okay. It is freaking hilarious. It's really right. funny. Um, so I'm enjoying it. I have to watch that it. later. Mm -hmm. um, and let me just say, the military did him well because his body is ripped. He's got a, he's got muscles. He's got, he's got abs. a yes oh. abs of steel, homie. I was just like yes. This box shower room. scene, thank you. Uh, well, uh, shower scene <laughs> usually happens in the first within the first two episodes of a drama, right? And he's in a variety show. They shot him because he was exercising, and then he had to go take a shower. I was oh. like, yeah. They're like, okay, we need you to go in there and look cool when you take a shower. We're exactly. filming you. Get out, be like, he went like that. I was like, yes, no stomach on him. <laughs> I don't think he ever had like a stomach, no. but I think he just he, didn't he's have never been as ripped as he is abs, now. Yeah. yeah. What, it looks like we got some some of the Dormon on there. Yeah, we shall see. I think we should go with the, the, the chips first. Yeah. The honey, honey, are, are honey they special? Butter. I don't know. Are they honey butter inferno? No, they have little Christmas stuff on there. Yeah. It's just honey, it's just honey butter. I like these. I think we should just eat them no matter what. Yeah. This has special edition. Nope. I don't know what's what special makes it, about uh, it. Cane Canada maple syrup. It's, okay. I read it like that because it's in Korean. <laughs> I don't want you guys to think I'm like slow, like Canada. Yeah. So it says right there. You see the little what's the, what's the, um, the leaf called? A uh, maple leaf. The red, the maple leaf. Yeah. It's right there. So it says right there, Canada. I'll, I'll do the honors. Okay. 
I'll do the honors. And you gotta open it Korean style. Open it Korean style. Oh, when you open it, it's like instant syrup. Yes. The new package is not this. It's okay. <laughs> it's like you're eating a pancake. <laughs> You don't like them? I do like honey butter, but this one's like, this will be on my heck to the now list. Ugh. It's not bad. It's just like you gotta get used to remember I don't like. It tastes like the. Um, I don't like stuff that's supposed to be salty, taste sweet. I don't like that. Remember when they have a McGriddle at McDonald's this is so long ago? They got rid of that, right? No, they still. I think they still have it. They have ah. sausage. They have sausage McGriddle. Mmm. No, they still have it's it. It's like the McGriddle. Maybe the McDonald's, like, I, you know, I've been to, I just didn't notice it. What do we got next? Ooh. Honey butter. I think we've had these before. What are like they? the pop, soda pop things. I want to say we had them. them. Yeah. This is just different packaging, right? Yeah, I think so. I think it's just new. These. So it's something must be different about them. Yeah. Well, I thought we had some similar. Jung. We might have something similar to them, but they didn't taste. I thought. Show. Yeah, it's one of them boxes. Sha oh, sha yo. I don't know, guys. When it's like cartoony, sometimes the Korean's hard to read. Looks like Japanese, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's cartoony, it looks like an anime, which is Japanese. Okay. It smells like that lemon uh, lemon cola stuff. It's just like different packaging, I think. Not bad. Yeah. Something we have over here. Lemon cola? Not lemon gold, but we have these things like this. Because woman head. Mm-hmm. Sha. Yo, Jung Sha yo. Mm. It's weird. It's the lemon cola. Mm -hmm. It's actually good. I give it a thumbs up. We got another some kind of biscuit with cookie with jam? In Korea. <laughs> <laughs> they give us, okay, what do they give us? We can go into the stickers all, all, all the bottom. The bottom. Usually the stickers and stuff is all up the top. Yeah, it's a bunch of Christmas stickers because this is the yeah, December this is, box. Yeah. <laughs> December box. And it's Christmas, even though not oh, anymore for Oh, look us. at this. Happy holidays. This Christmas. We got all kinds of stuff. All kinds of Christmas. It's weird. It's like it's weird seeing stuff, Christmas stuff after Christmas, like less than a clearance rack. <laughs> this one's a, um, a thicker sticker. You know, like the bubbled ones. Mm -hmm. And this one has thank you from all the people at Snack Fever. We've got Howard, or is it Hot Word? Howard? It's, his name's Hot Word? Oh. Howard. David. Joe. Thu. Thu must be, she must be a Thu. <laughs> and Hazel. That's all, this is like a little thing from them. All right, so what else do we got? All right, we've got this. This is... Choco pie. So this is a special chocolate pie. It's chocolate chip. And it says, it says cook cook or coke coke. <laughs> I read it wrong. Coke coke. All right, let me see. What, what, what do you see inside? Ooh, another chocolate pie thing. Some chocolate chips. You taste them. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's okay. <laughs> I like the other one better. Does it have, have what's in here? Mm -hmm. Before they didn't, weren't having that before. Mm -hmm. mm. Unlike the normal chocolate pies, this is an upgraded version. Mm. Chocolate chip mm. cookie in a pie. This has Definitely like, this has like what, apricot jam in it? And the package should look red, but maybe it's orange. Like some orange jelly mm. or apricot. Mm. Not bad, guys. And that candy we have right here is called Jang Sour Candy. Sour Coke. Yeah. Jang. <laughs> Not Jang. Jang, whatever. <laughs> okay. Don't say about the honey butter chips. Right there at the top. It's an upgraded version that went so viral at one point that it was unavailable. Okay, I'm I'm spitting unavailable. <laughs> it's a must try. So it was like such a huge hit, you couldn't get it in mm -hmm. store. I feel like when Honey Chips came out, you couldn't get them. When Honey Chips first came out, it was like 
Oh, it was so hard to get in. You go to the store and they're like, they're gone. I think people probably wait at the store and be like, when the shipment came in, and they were like, fine on them. Um, let's see, what else did we get? Where are the mini box? We got the, let's see. Johnny Sour Candy. What else have we eaten? That's it, right? Yeah. We only eat two things? We have the chips. Yeah. This. And, and the then this. Okay. What's the next thing we got? What are these little... What are these little candies? Are this not mm -hmm. even on there? Oh, is it these? Cow candy yogurt. Yeah, it looks like it. It's got a little cow on it. I already ripped mine. It says, Cham Jao Haseyo. Whatever that means. Cham Jao Haseyo. Like so if they're, these, are, these are soft. You see, mm -hmm. I'm pushing it. It's like a like a hard um, or like a hard marshmallow. Is what it looks like. What is it? Malang Cow Yogurt Candy is a super soft, fluffy marshmallow <laughs> candy made with milk fla flavored yogurt. It's sweet and addicting, so make sure you brush your teeth to prevent it happening. <laughs> Don't worry. Like, look, your candy sweet is nothing like our candy sweet. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna brush our teeth after this, okay? It's good. Mm -hmm. We went to Korea. We did have like milk flavored ice cream, which is like, what? <laughs> it's just like plain. Like, we don't even do milk flavored stuff. We do everything, had, if it's like plain, it's vanilla. Right. You know what I mean? So right. they, theirs is just like plain, plain. Like, if you want just to be like eating frozen milk. Right. What's this one? Let's see. That's the last thing. This is a lollipop? This is the last mm -hmm. thing? Mm-hmm. Why do I feel like it. we had more? Mm -mm. What's well, a mini box? Mm-hmm. This is a lollipop. What's it say? It says it is butter flavored. Butter? There is, okay, so there is something on the back that's brown, and the front is Dormon. I'll let you do that. <laughs> this Dormon candy is butter flavored lollipop that's so sweet. It will have you crying. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> this candy is very popular for young kids in what? Korea. <laughs> it's so sweet. Who is writing saying, these things? Oh, it's so sweet. Does it taste like butter? Yeah. You got chocolate in your teeth. <laughs> All right, let me get a little. Let me get a little look here. Yeah, it tastes like the burnt candy that you get on the street. Yes. There's like these little people that make this little burnt candy stuff that's brown like that that's on the street, and they put like a little um, exactly indentation like. in it, and then you're supposed to try to like break out like they put like a um, let's say a star cookie cutter, and they put that over top of the candy so there's an imprint, and so you're supposed to break try to break the star out of it, which is super hard. It's basically cooked sugar. Cooked sugar, yeah, you can find it online. Just Korean cooked sugar dessert. But hey, this is yeah, I forgot we had the mini box. It's not mm. the much snacks. What do you think? This it's this, like a burnt. This taste I don't like that burnt. Because taste. people are used to that burnt candy taste, so that's mm -hmm. why like kids like it because that's mm -hmm. might have been like the only sugar you're gonna get besides when your mom chopped up fruit for you. Mm -hmm. You know because that's a lot of people just find fruit to be dessert. This would turn me off from a dang lollipop if I was American and you had to eat that. Eventually, you'd probably like it. We didn't stop by any of those places to get that. When we did. It was like a line for it. People wanted yeah. that sugar candy. Yeah. We now got, we know what it tastes like. We got what you call it all the time. Yeah. I, I, we got Hodok five times in Korea, <laughs> which is like the Korean pancake. It's, it's like a pancake. big, It's like a big fluffy pancake. It's like about that big. And it's got like nuts, sugar, and seeds like mm. filling inside. It's, when they, it's like a ball of dough when they're making it. And they, they put their thumb in it and put like all the seeds and sugar and like spices in there. And they put mm -hmm. it on like a big thing, fry it up. Like, so it turns like to a nice big bubble and fluffy. Like, and then some of them aren't sweet. Some had like meat, spicy meat in it. And some had like noodles. What was it? The vegetable. Vegetables. I had the vegetable. It was really good. I had the spicy pork. Spicy. Just know it was spicy. Like I was walking around. My mouth was probably burning for like 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> and I can take the heat. Yeah. All right. What's our last couple of topics? Um, let's see. So I have a funny a funny one that I saw and I, it, I busted out laughing. So the reason why it's funny is the trend in Korea for the winter time is those long padded jackets. Yeah, know? that's the trend now. The yes. long, like we used to have it back in the day. That was popular. The bubble coats. Bubble we coats, them. but like longer. All yeah. the way down to, to your, your ankles. Your ankles. So. so there was a student who got on the bus and 
I guess if you guys you probably don't know anything about riding the bus in Korea when you're oh because we did it they don't stop like when you get on the bus you know how the bus driver will let you sit down in the seat oh, yeah. before they take off no they don't let you do that you get so on you hold just, on because they just take off they don't care if you're old sitting down be, or not oh people be stumbling over yeah we the stumbled. only time he was nice and try to slow down the bus when was a rainy, rainy day yes so people wouldn't other than that they don't wait till you sit down they you get just on the bus, take off you you swipe your card and next thing you <laughs> right so i guess this must have happened to the student so the student went to get on the bus and to sit down but I guess the bus took off and the student sat down with such force, his coat exploded. <laughs> so, so, wait, so, so, <laughs> how can your coat explode? So all the, because you know it's a down coat, all the feathers. And stuff, all the feathers. So, all the feathers went everywhere and it bust out. And the lady, there was a lady who was talking about it. She said, and they have pictures. I, I saw the pictures. So she said that the lady that was sitting beside the student when it happened, she she ran for cover because it was like a big cloud Dude, of feathers. I wonder if it like sounded like a gunshot, <laughs> like like <laughs> boom, or like or like, like when you pop a bag of chips. Yes, and like, boom. So that's what happened. And all the feathers blew out everywhere. <laughs> and you know, so, probably, the person was probably so embarrassed. So the person was so embarrassed, they ran off the bus, not even at their stop, and got off the bus. <laughs> Left all trail of feathers and feathers everywhere. She said the bus driver was cursing, cussing, because it was feathers everywhere. Yeah. I, oh my gosh. Let me see if I can pull up the freaking picture because That's, I was cracking up. I say like people get, um, young people get embarrassed like super. I feel like they get embarrassed super easily. Yes. Like, I think I would be embarrassed, but I'd be like, okay, let me clean it. You know, most people in America would be like trying to like pick up a few. Here it is. Is there a picture? Yes, of all the feathers. I feel like most people would either be they like... They said the feathers came down like snow. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, look, look. Oh my gosh. God. Okay, let me see if we can... Like, there's like, it's so much on like the bus floor. Yes. And the back of the seat. So let me... Um, I don't know if you can see it, but you, you can always can, look but it you up. Could, you could you can tell. look up the story. So there was like, the, the person who was writing about it was actually sitting in the bus. It says, I was sitting all the way in the back of the bus when a student boarded the vehicle and sat in the back middle seat. Remember, I sat in that yeah, back yeah, middle we, seat. Yeah, yeah, we did sit in the back one And time. there was a loud thud sound. Just then, the, the student's long padded coat exploded, and the bus was filled with geese feathers falling down like snow. Oh, my gosh. And the, the coats are not cheap. No. Those coats are cheap, so. Those coats run between, I think the most expensive one is over $300. It's expensive. Like, the only way you could probably get cheap ones is if like, you get a knockoff <laughs> one. It says, the set of images were so revealed, illustrating the baffling situation. The aftermath explosion left a messy trail of feathers lying around both the seat and the floor. The women sitting beside the student ran for cover towards the front of the bus after getting direct, <laughs> after getting a direct hit. People fortunately, are, people in Korea are so extra sometimes. Fortunately, like, oh, I was on the opposite <laughs> side, so I wasn't affected. It, it was said that the student, whose long padded coat exploded, got off the next stop, humiliated by the sudden incident. This They're probably saying, stated, like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Afterwards, the bus driver cussed up a storm. LOL. This is the first time I've ever seen a padding coat literally burst in yeah, my entire life. Yeah, I've never life. heard of that. I've heard of people, like, um, getting jealous of someone with a puffy coat back in the day. And remember, they, they try to cut your coat? Yeah. They try to ruin it by cutting yes. it? Yeah. But um, besides that, no. Um, I feel like then, those were, like, if you were on to fight somebody, then they try to bring out a knife, you could probably, like dodge a bit like yeah. all, the, all yeah. the feathers all the, all feathers the puffiness. Stuff, puffiness yeah seeing this the comments flooded in saying how violently did he sit down to cause an explosion so people, oh yeah people <laughs> are like basically like just running into their seat like oh they yeah. want to hurry up and sit down that's they what just happened wanna be... to me when we were, we were right going towards the back of the bus and when he moved i had to like almost like I sat down like hard because yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't wanna, in my seat yet. It's like it's like a race to find get to a seat, find a seat, and if it's down. open. I mean, like you want to. It's just it feels like you just gotta be prepared. And then me, really, the the middle seat is not the best seat to sit in on the back of the bus because it's raised up back there. Because when he went over a bump, my butt left the seat, and I'm a big person, so that means you know he really hit it hard, and I had to hold on to the pole because I was yeah, he went over on. a speed bump. Yeah. yeah, he went over a speed bump, and I was like, oh. Well, he went over speed bump. I'll be fine until my butt left the seat. And I was yeah. like, well, let me hold on. He's driving a little crazy. Yeah. Bus, <laughs> bus drive, the bus is an adventure. <laughs> it is. Like, I mean, the safest thing to be on is the subway. Yeah. You All know right. that he's not going to speed on that. What's our next topic? Um, oh, um, BTS's song, um, Mic Drop. 
um, was actually used um, on a teaser for a new sitcom that's coming on HBO. So they used their oh. song, um, which I was like, cool. So BTS is getting a lot of love over here in the yeah, States, people. I mean, I think it's so weird because, like, I guess K-pop fans, it's kind of kind of mixed like some people are like super excited a lot of people are super excited that mm. they're in america but i mean i guess there was rumors that they might try to in the future do a like a all english speaking one mm -hmm. and then there were people just like why mm -hmm. they were just kind of like why they're k-pop they should be only be doing korean speaking in korean or they should only and i was like these were obviously uh, um people that speak english these were mm -hmm. american people this wasn't a korean person because a korean person would not care they're like good job go and you know represent mm -hmm. korea but mm -hmm. they were like why if I, I will stop standing them standing you know like eminem stand mm -hmm. um i'll stop standing them if they do a whole english album and i'm like whatever yeah. but i'm excited for them i, I want to see how far also, they can um, go bts and exo have also been nominated for an <laughs> iheart radio award Wow. So they've been nominated for that too. So we shall see. I hope they'll be I'm able to come I to like the... I like BTS, but I'm a huge EXO, EXO fan. Yes. So hopefully if they do receive an award or if they're nominated, they can come over here and actually be at the Our Heart Radio Awards yeah. to represent themselves. Um, but I feel yeah, like I'm... BTS has more... Uh, their people are more willing to try to get them some places. Mm -hmm. But um, what's it called? Um, <clears throat> EXO is on SM. Mm -hmm. So their schedules are packed. But you gotta yeah. remember, they're doing... They're, they were trying to take over uh, China, but now they're trying to take over Japan because mm -hmm. they had a whole... So they it's going to be harder for them to try to get over to the yeah. U.S. I think BTS <clears throat> will be glad to come yeah. over here. What was this? That oh, was that was the thing. Okay, yeah. it looked different. <laughs> and then my last topic uh, was t I read an article about Geo from... Geo from In Black. In Black. Formerly of In Black. Yeah, that group broke up. Yeah. And um, I read his whole article, and he talked about <clears throat> how... Um, he you know about he opened up about when Thunder and E June left and how he kind of felt betrayed because it wasn't really like he said the record company didn't really handle it well because oh, okay. he said the he thought it was their fault but really it wasn't it was the record company because it was a lot yeah, of mismanagement exactly. and it was a lot of counting things like money was not being put where it should right. have been and of course E June and Thunder are gonna leave if, if they say like I'm not really getting my money exactly. Yeah. And so he, but see, it wasn't really explained to everybody else. Yeah, like well, like maybe not everyone was in the same room. Yes. It was like all separate. Yes. Like they did with uh, 21. Remember? Yeah. They said they all met separately with exactly. YG. And he's like, basically, you're staying on, you're going to do this. You're yes. going to do that. So and, it's all separate. And so I think that's <clears throat> how it was. And so he came out of the meeting like resentful to, to them until Mir and Soon. Who's the old? Sun, the, yeah, Sun Ho, I think it was the leader. Yeah. <clears throat> he talked to them and was like, no, this is really what's going on. This is Yeah, really he was the leader, so he knows yes. the most. Yeah. And then Gio was like, well, he went into a depression for like six months. He's like, before he went into the military, right after they broke up, before he went to the military. So he said, for those six months, he went into a depression. He didn't talk to anybody. He stopped talking on the phone. He didn't talk to his family, friends, nobody. He just kind of kind of whatever money he had yeah he just, he just like, kind of was like i'm out. just gonna which call it to myself and not talk to anybody because he felt like it was like like he said being on stage and singing was the only thing he knew and i'm an yeah. adult and he was old and he said and i was older yeah and he said that's the only thing i knew because he's the oldest one i think yeah. is he the oldest one even though he's not the leader yeah. he's the oldest yeah i think so and he was like that's the only thing i knew and he was like but and he said then he went into the military and then he was like he when he had that last I think fan meeting or something that he said to his fans that what he wanted to do was to lead a normal life and get married and be a normal person like his like oh he that's was what raised. he said he said that's what he said he so he's, he's not doing any more singing so I don't think he's gonna be doing any more singing because he hasn't maybe really later brought on. it up maybe later yeah. on but right now he is dating an actress and maybe he'll just because he is older. So maybe he'll get married and just lead that normal life like yeah. he grew up as. He'll get, he'll have a normal job. Um, maybe he'll stay in the music. The, the leader of the group, Sung Ho, he's he said that's what he wanted. He wanted to be a young dad. Mm -hmm. He that's that was his, and he was already he's already getting up there. So he was like, right. my my dream was to be a younger dad. He doesn't yeah. want he I guess he didn't want to be a dad starting off like thirty five. He right. wanted to be late twenties to be right. a dad. So I mean. It worked. You so know, I think a lot out. of them are probably going to try to just, I don't know about Mir, because I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. But, because he was the youngest, but Gio's like, I just want to lead a normal life. Like, yeah. I come from an average family, so he's like, get married and probably have kids and have a normal job, which, you know, I think they should have those 
aspirations. If you don't want to stay in music, or you, I mean, you, you can always be a scenes, music teacher. Yes, you can always do behind the scenes in music. You could write music for people. Yeah, you don't have to be in the front, <clears throat> in the front all the time. So, but I was just like, I'm glad he kind of because it was like he was blaming them at first because he didn't really know the whole thing. Because yeah. like you said, if they met in separate meetings, separate, separate meetings, meetings, you're not know you do, you don't know what's going on. You just yeah. know that they can tell you broken. anything. They can say anything to make themselves. That's what he said. The company especially said, especially if they met before you met. Yes, like they went in and then you went in and they're yeah. like, you know. They're out. They already said like they're out. Like you said, a lot of the misunderstandings between the members was because of the company. Because the company didn't want them to look bad. So they made up a lot. He said then there was a lot of stories coming out and stuff, and it wasn't true. Yeah. And then he was like, there was a lot of, he said, he said, he said, because it's all of them. And, but it wasn't what the people actually said. Yeah. And then he said, he told the record company to come out and actually do an official thing, and they didn't want to do that. So it made it, it kind of made it look like, well, what's going on? Yeah, it you was just, it was like probably like, okay, M Block's done. You're yeah. just like, it wasn't like a thing where they could say bye and da da da. Yeah. It was just kind of like they're, yeah, it was like you know, an like abrupt. They they left and let's just have to try to have the three of them. Well, mm-hmm. didn't they do like one little single where it was just three of them? Didn't they try to do that? I think so. And it just didn't go over well. No. And then they just kind of like we're done. Yeah, and then that's you know? when Geo decided to go because he, he had to go to the military, military anyway. So. Exactly. So it was like, you know, but. But Adrian, gonna... Adrian's a successful actor, mm-hmm. and um, Thunder, I mean, his his sister is a superstar, so he can just piggyback off her. Yeah, and, they've like, been they doing do, a lot of stuff in... They were, they were born, or they lived in the Philippines for a long time, so they can go back, they speak the language fluently, they go back to the Philippines, they do all kinds of... Uh, Dara, his sister, does has all kinds of deals with mm-hmm. the Philippines, She's does all kinds modeling, of shows. all kinds of stuff. So she basically brought him on to do, like, this huge, like, adventure show. Where they were just trying to go around and eat food and do all these activities and trying to, you know, games and stuff. So I know that was huge in the Philippines. So I think that's everything we have, right? Yeah, that's everything. Guys, this is the last one. We we're gonna we're thinking about maybe trying to do some some kind of cooking, maybe cook some Asian foods. But we got to yeah. get all the equipment, get everything. I mean, that right. would be. We're we're just done with the snacks for now. Unless yeah. we unless we find like something healthy. We'll we see. I'm going gonna, gonna to look to see what's out there. Because... Or we can do some, you know, some facial stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, this is, but this is, you know, on Twitch, it'd be a, it's an eating thing. So we yeah. can always have to go do maybe use a different platform or something. Mm-hmm. We yeah. might still stick with food. You never know. Because we might introduce maybe some Korean food or other Asian foods. Cook some stuff. We'll cook some stuff and eat it in front of you. <laughs> I got some, I got skills. Mm-hmm. I got the We juice. might do that. We might make some meals. We might not show... We might just eat it and not show show us making it. You know, we might yeah, do that. Yeah, we so might make can, something and then explain, yeah, explain it, what, you know, how hard it was and yeah, things like that. and things about I really it. do like, what's her name, Meng Chi. You guys, follow her. It's her uh, name is spelled M-A-A-N-G-C-H-I, I think. Meng Chi mm-hmm. or Meng Chi. Or, um, she does all kinds of, she's been around for many years and she does lots of videos on YouTube cooking all kinds of Korean food. I'm pretty sure she's almost on everything you can think of yeah. for Korean food because she's been around for at least five or six years and then she's done some stuff over um, because she's got better equipment she has some people editing her videos so there's crisp videos of showing you how to make all kinds of Korean stuff so yeah. so we'll probably try that it might not be it might be I don't know when we're gonna come back who knows um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean we'll, we might try to shoot a video next month if we can that's my birthday month is next month so um we, we might would try love, to shoot something. We, we d- I want to do go to Philly and go to this famous Korean restaurant yes. in Philly. So we might if try to do that. If it's possible for my we'll birthday, we'll just try to blo- we try to vlog it. And w- yeah, we'll try to vlog it, and then we can we can kind of show you that so you can see. It's called cause... Sorable. It's yes. in Philly. It's a Korean restaurant. Um, Chef Chris Cho. Yes. Jeff Chris Cho, look him up on Instagram. And he's on Facebook. He's on Facebook. So Sorable has their own Instagram too, and he has his own. So Chef. Chris, I believe. We're on the way to your restaurant, playa. Yeah, I'm super <laughs> excited. Because I really want to eat. <laughs> we want, we'll just get on a train and be like, do do do, let's go to Philly, right. yeah. something fun. But I don't know what else you want to do for your birthday. But I'm if we don't tattoo. do it for your birthday, we'll go for my birthday, yeah. which is in end of May. That we would yeah. get on the train, go to a train. Restaurant. I'm getting a tattoo, so that's the other thing, and a new car. Tattoo. <laughs> it's gonna be fancy. Mm-hmm. We're riding around in her whip. <laughs> New whip. But that's it. That's everything, right? That's pretty much it. Um, we want to send a quick shout out to Snack Fever. 
Yeah. I did. I had to cancel it, and I felt bad. But I was like, <laughs> and I put on there the reason why. I was like, I love all your foods and stuff. It's not because you guys, because we're gonna be healthy in 2018. We're gonna be healthier. And we can't eat all these snacks. They're a little bit too much full of sugar and salt. Last and, salt. We did find yeah. out that high blood pressure does run our family. Yeah, so, so we have to. We gotta. Avoid. We gotta make that. You know, we're in our 30, 40s. Well, I was gonna say, girl, you and your 30, but I'm 30s, about to be 41. 40s. <laughs> And so we got to try to do something this year, yeah. try to get on track. Yeah, because, I mean, we do want to go back to Korea in 2019, and I kind of don't want to be the same size that I am now, so I can kind of feel like I can do, I, even though I enjoy myself, I still feel like my weight kind of held me back from doing more stuff that I wanted to do. So I just want to get healthy so I can really enjoy and go out and hike and do other things and not feel like my weight's holding me back. And yeah, my knees will feel better. Yeah, back, yeah, because it's, it can be excruciating yeah <laughs> when you're trying to do that because we walked like we never walked before and i <laughs> felt it <laughs> she was not ready for that she you know she was like oh i'm good we can do all this and then, then we got we get there and she's like i mean i was a trooper i i did she was like i walked all day but I, I need to tired. take a break. <laughs> but I was tired. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm not no young spring chicken. Y'all know I'm 40, so I, I did it, but it was hot. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll get next time. We we're planning on going to Jeju and then hit Seoul, and then maybe we'll see if we'll go to a different country. We're not going to say anything just yet, but we were thinking about maybe a different Asian country. Mm -hmm. Yes. So and we're definitely going to Airbnb it because I've already been looking up Air some Airbnb Airbnbs, it. and they have been nice nah, in some of these other countries. We, we've had, we went to Airbnb the first time in Korea, and we had a good experience. I mean, like, overall, they were clean, no bugs, no nothing. It was just clean. And then, you we, know, well, we if went you... Closer to like in saying, if you are American or you speak English, just you can request an English speaking host, right. which makes it so much easier. And then we had two really good hosts, especially our host that we had for when we were in Seoul. Yeah. Because she was like, oh, you, she, in her book that she gave us, told us where our, the super, I mean, where like the stores were, where the convenience stores were, where there's a park behind where she lived. And yeah, we did, we did walk in the park. It was yeah. really, it was a big it park. It was really pretty. It yeah. was nice. We could have, so, you know, we had bikes, we could have been, yeah, you know, we could have biked it, but we didn't have that. Yeah. But it was just like having someone who can, you know, it made you feel like, cause I remember when we met those other people. Remember when we were with Amber and they weren't really given a lot of information when they said they're Airbnb because oh, they were yeah. trying to find where milk, they could go to a store and find where milk was. Yeah, and they like didn't that. know where anything was. Because yeah. they didn't really give them any information. So I was glad that our Airbnb host gave us information, where to go. We could find where everything and I was. I think Seoul and Busan are just awesome places to be because, I mean, like a convenience store is like always in walking distance oh my gosh we had what three convenience stores like on the same, on the strip. same street or like it's the same company it's like seeing a 7-eleven on like down this way one minute down this way one minute down that way and one minute down that way it's so three the convenience stores were our set because i was like we can just go in the convenience store and get some food we didn't have to go far um if we wanted to get something quick like a snack it was right there we yeah. had a convenience store right in our um in the building we were staying at, yeah, in, in the, our, in the yeah. basement so. so it made it really easy so I suggest you, if you guys can do it, uh, Airbnb is always kind of cheaper than a hotel. We already know that in Korea, it's great. I know that some people, like, they, oh, I went to one place, and, they, you know, it was, it looked not like the pictures. Where mm. we went to, it looked like the pictures. The picture, yes. It looked like and they had several pictures. We And make sure you look at the reviews. And if people, you know, if it doesn't have a lot of reviews on it, be a little bit leery. Yeah. Even the one we went to was, like, didn't have any reviews. The no. second one we went to. Yeah, because I mean, it was, hers, brand, she, hers she's, was new. It's brand new. So. It was a brand new listing, so it was nice, though. I mean, <laughs> we had a washing machine. We could wash our clothes. Yeah. So, yeah, you can, you can put your request in there of what you want. You want two beds or whatever you want, you can do that. If you want a washing machine, whatever things you're looking for, you can have it. But we just wanted to make sure we weren't sharing with the hosts because there was something like that. And I was like, what? Yeah, it was a little creepy. I was like, we don't want to be in the same. Like, okay, if it was a woman and she was like, I live upstairs, you guys live downstairs. Okay. But it was like, it one, was, it was a like man. a man. He, was and he like, said, you can put the partition up. It was, I was like, like what? partition. I'm on the other side of the house and you're on this side. I'm like, I ain't going to be trying to coming from the bathroom. <laughs> dude, and he's like, open up the park. You want breakfast or something? You know, I know. Like, we were like, we were like, uh, no, thank you. I was like, 
partition. I know, because I kept reading. I'm like, oh, this place is nice. But then I was like. Yeah, it was a really nice place. Then you're like, oh, he lives there. No wonder it's so nice. Yes, yeah, it was very nice. It was very nice. But we're like. Mm. But then he said, you can put a partition up. I was like, why are we if putting up were, a partition? If, we, if it was like a guy and you, we were guys yeah. and we were gone, you'd be like, oh, this place is perfect. But right. we're girls, so. No. Ain't, gonna, ain't nobody gonna come in you be a be a or night. They be like, oh, we smell it. I know. We'd be like, uh, we would be on the news. Korean but that, man got that wouldn't happen to you because you were loud snoring. Right. You snore loud. So I, you I, like, I was up. Tisha kept me up with her snoring, so I would have been up. <laughs> I would have been up. <laughs> Sorry, I was tired. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um. We will see you soon. You can always follow our Instagram. Mine is chef.t. That's C-H-E-F dot T-E-A. And yours is your name. Letitia Little. L-E-T-E-C-I-A. L-I-T-T-L-E. Yep. That On is Instagram. Really. So, mm-hmm. guys, check out our Instagram. If you missed some of the show, don't worry. I'll be getting this posted up on YouTube uh, within a couple days. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. See Bye. ya. Play my outro. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>